Well, hey, welcome everyone. It is time to play some Resident Evil. Uh, this is a this is a game that I I recently discovered. I uh, I really really enjoy. Um, over Christmas, I was playing the remake of Resident Evil Two, just because I remembered liking it a lot, and. Uh, and uh, when I got done with the Leon campaign, it, it dawned on me. I was just like, well, I, I'm, I'm already kind of in the mood for it. I might as well go ahead and play the original as well, because uh, I never got around to, to playing the OG. So I sat down and uh, played the original. It looked like I, I already had the HD version of uh, the 2002 remake loaded onto my PS5. So I just went for it, and I ended up loving it. Um, now one quick note, um, I'm going to try to see if I can fix this before the next stream. I just have no idea how to rectify it now. I, uh, I'm having an issue where my footage is delayed a little bit. So, like, I, it's, it's playing at the right speed on my monitor. I, like... You know, the, the reaction times and everything are great, but there seems to be a, like, two to three second delay on to when it's transitioning over to OBS. So, my reactions in the face cam might be two to three seconds behind, or ahead, rather. Uh, it might be uh, two, two or three seconds ahead of what's happening uh, on the on the screen here. 
So is it the capture card? Is it the capture card, maybe? Because again, it's playing fine on, on the monitor, and it's, it's you know, it's processing through there, too, so... I don't know. I, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure what's, what's causing all of that to go awry. Um, I'll double check all of my connections, uh, to, uh, you know, to my, uh, oh no, maybe, maybe that's right. It would be the capture card. Okay. Maybe I need to figure something out with my capture card. It's an old capture card. It's an Elgato HD 60. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe she's finally slowing down on me. I'm not sure. Uh, that, that could be it. Cause it's, uh, I feed, uh, yeah. Well, I haven't had that issue all the time before, so I would like to see if I could get that fixed up again before the next stream, but we will have to see. Um, isn't there isn't there a kind of Elgato that you can like just get installed into your computer? It's it's like not an external device, like it's just like on the board essentially, and then you could just like hook it up by HDMI that way. If I mean, I I might have to look into that. I don't know. Uh, it's the HD sixty S. Uh, the HD60S concerns me just because, like, I've heard so many problems with, with other Elgatos outside of that. I don't know. Again, it's going to be an issue for this stream. I'll see what I can do to fix it before the next one. So, apologies for that ahead of time. Now, you might also notice I am, again, playing the HD version of this game on my PlayStation 5. Uh, that said, I am of the personal belief that this game looks and performs best in the 4x3 aspect ratio, which it provides. So, I'm going to be displaying it in 4x3. Partially, I think you actually get a somewhat larger um, picture on the on the stream itself. And then, uh, I, I think it honestly just fits fits the, uh, the material just a little bit better. I'm also going to see if I can fix the chat real quick there we go fix that let's see at this point i'd say don't even get an elgato unless uh you got good word on one of those internal cards 60s just makes me not want to use elgato ever again what are some good other recommendations what are what are some other like um alternatives to elgato uh that i would be very interested in in uh in seeing let's see let's see OBS should let you delay uh, set a delay on your face cam and mic. It's a, it's a bit brute force, but that might be a workaround. Hmm. Um, I don't know if I want to mess with that now. Plus, now that I'm already streaming, I might not be able to make those settings to those particular devices. So I'm not sure if I could really get away with that. Um. Resident Evil. Sorry, that was very loud. Uh, I had not adjusted the settings for that just yet uh that's that's my bad i apologize um let's see aver media um okay so we're gonna go with original controls uh original display yeah let's see just for next time in case you don't fix the capture delay yeah yeah uh that's a good i that's a good idea i am also gonna like try you know uh, smarter, not harder. I'm also going to try swapping HDMI cords, uh, because I think I have, like, a, like, a cheap, older HDMI cord feeding from my HDMI splitter into the Elgato right now. It could be an HDMI cord thing. Um, that might be all that it is. Actually, should I go ahead and try that is the question. If I have, like, another HDMI cord around... You know what? Give me just a second. I'm gonna try another HDMI cord. We're gonna... We're gonna workshop this just a little bit. Give me... Uh... Let's see. I have a... Uh... StarTech capture card. Drivers are a pain, but it does well when uh, drivers are behaving. I might also need to update drivers. I might have to look into that, too. You know, before... Before we get too much further into this, I'm going to dig through my collection of HDMI cards. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna see if I can fix this right now. Yeah, give me give me just a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna see this. I don't think my microphone.
kick. Is this any better? Did that change anything? No, it's still delayed. Okay, it might just be the capture card. <laughs> well, damn it, I tried. Uh, you know, hey, it's all about, act, uh, you know, just putting in a little bit of effort there, even if it doesn't pan out. But hey, that's okay. Anyway, enough screwing around. It's time to just go ahead and jump into this. Now, this first question here, uh, let's see. Uh, how do you like your games? I think if we go to this middle option, that's kind of like the the medium mode. Um, I'm also going to le would love to see you try out Chris's campaign if you've done Jill already. Now, I Chris might be for another night. I uh, I think I'm gonna start with Jill, uh, partially because I like I really enjoyed my first playthrough as Jill, but it was it took me an embarrassing long embarrassingly long time to uh to finish. So, I want to get, like, another good run-through as Jill under my belt before jumping into the Chris campaign, because that's essentially hard mode for anybody that doesn't know. Now, uh, I'm tempted. There is a BSAA costume for Jill in this game, and considering Resident Evil Revelations was my first Resident Evil game, I have a lot of nostalgia for this outfit. I hope y'all don't mind that I'm probably going to be wearing this throughout uh, this particular run. So, let's see. That's the fun thing about Resi 1. Every time you do another run, it'll be twice as fast. I did my first run as Chris, to so Jill was uh, blazing fast for me. Wait, is this from RE5? Is this not what she wore? Is this not what she wore in Revelations? Am I crazy? I thought this was what she wore in Revelations. Maybe I'm nuts. Am I losing my mind? Eh. It looks kind of like her revelate. No, no, you're right. Actually, now that you mention it, that is a little more RE5. Well, shoot. Now, now that's... Let's see. Yeah, that was more of a dive suit. No, you're right. You're right. I'm not sure why I was thinking revelations. Maybe because it's blue. Oh, well, we'll, we'll just do OG. <laughs> We'll do OG Jill. It's fine. Now, again, I've only played through this game once, and that was, like, within the past week. I'm not a master at this. Uh, and uh, we're going to see how well Alpha my memory carries me through this, this playthrough. So I'm going to be fumbling a little bit. And I hope you can bear with me throughout that little process. <laughs> Disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Bizarre yeah, murder cases have cases. recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. They were eaten by monsters, like some kinds of zombies. But we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Oh god, not Kevin. Okay, yeah, now I'm looking back on the Revelations costume. There are similarities, but she didn't have the hat. And, uh, yeah, it is, it is more of a wetsuit, so, okay. Yeah. Well, shoot. Let's look at me not knowing what I'm talking about. That's fine. Hi, Goopy Jello. Good to see you. Yes, we are. I'm excited to run through this one. We have, uh... So what are stars? What is, what is stars? What, what kind of task force is stars that they exist before the knowledge of Umbrella creating zombie viruses is like what is a uh, what do stars do prior to Resi One? Like what is their job? That's what I want to know. Well, we'll just extend it further and say prior to Resi Zero.
Well, see, I started as Chris, and then I got a little bit in, and I realized that was a goddamn mistake, because he's very difficult <laughs> in this game. <laughs> so I started over again, but as Jill, just to kind of get, uh, just to ease myself into the experience a little bit better. And man, she's already off to a rough start. She's, uh, not knowing how to, how to deal with all this. A special ops team. Okay, so just special police. Gotcha. Well, whatever it was, this wasn't in their training booklet, I'm sure. How the hell, Brad? We'll see Brad again by the end of the game, but for the most part, he just kind of, like, flies off. I'm gonna say, I think Wesker sounds awesome in this game until the final cutscenes with him, and then he just sounds goofy. In the beginning of this game, though, he sounds great. He's awesome. I love. I, I I'm not sure who plays Wesker in uh, in this particular game, but I like his performance quite a lot. Let's see. I can see stars as these co uh, as these ops teams that higher ups would try and defund, thinking it was ridiculous, and then Raccoon City happens. There are only three stars mm. left now. Wesker. Final time on my first playthrough was like 17 and a half hours. Like, it took me a long time because I just didn't know what I was doing. What is this place? And it took me a really, really long time to just memorize the layout of the of the mansion. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... I love everybody's that? heads just... Chris? No... Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Let's see. My first time uh, playing this was Deadly Silence on the uh, uh, Silence on the DS. Not the worst way to play. It's really not. Uh, Deadly Silence is interesting from what I've seen. Um, Cirrus has been telling me a bit about what Deadly Silence is like, and I've I've seen some stuff. It's cool. It's cool. One day I would love to get my hands on the Saturn, the Sega Saturn port of Resident Evil 1. It's got some exclusive content that's not uh, that's not present in some of the older ones, so I think, honestly, that would be really cool. I think you'd better take a look at this. I sure hope this isn't Chris's blood. Blood. Jill. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. I haven't played like the original port of one, but it's like you can't be on the internet and not know like some of the famous lines. Now I do remember quite a bit from the beginning stages of this game, so I might be able to blitz through the first couple of things here pretty quickly. First thing we're gonna do is run over to this corner. We're gonna see our first zombie uh, eating a guy. I think he's eating, uh, Booker, how's it going? What is up, Booker? Thank you for stopping by. Okay, and we're going to get the hell out of here. I'm gonna dodge his attack, run out, and go see Barry. <laughs> I'm going to get your toes. You can say that, you can stay far the hell away from my toes. You don't, you don't need, you don't need what these grippers. That's what okay. It's a Let's see, first Resident Evil was zero, and, and boy, I soft like myself pretty quick. Zero, I hear mixed things about. So, we are gonna have to look at that one eventually. I, oh, by the way, if this goes well, I'm gonna stream all of them. I'm gonna stream every Resident Evil game. <laughs> By this thing. I'm I'm ready to experience the rest of this series. I'm more familiar with like the more recent games. I've played again Revelations, and I adore Revelations, and I've played that game many times. Um, but uh, you know, seven and eight, I really really liked. Never have never played four. I've never played four. I did yesterday pick up a. GameCube copy of 4, so when we get to 4, I'm going to be playing the original, original version of 4, and I'm very excited about that. That one's been on my bucket list for a very long time. Let's see. 
uh, show me Chris Ridfield before I write. I'm so sorry. Uh, we're not gonna be seeing Chris in this in this playthrough because I'm playing as Jill. Uh, Chris. Okay. If we play, if I play the game properly, we'll see Chris at the end if I manage to save him. I am so sorry, Booker. I did not mean to let you down like this. <laughs> Let's see. I'm so down to watch more Resident Evil. Uh, I liked Zero way back when it came out, but I want to get it uh, replaced someday. Let's see. If you can get by with Japanese Biohazard on the Saturn, it's very... Uh, isn't very expensive. At least it wasn't when I got it a few years ago. It is also region locked, though I believe. Um, we could easily get lost. So I wouldn't be able to play it on my Saturn natively. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lock. Well, how's the master of unlocking supposed to pick locks without her lock pick? Thanks. I may need it. Listen. Let's see. Something happens. Resident Evil Director's Cut Basement Music is peak. No, it's not. No, it is not. Okay, so first things first, we're actually kind of... We're going to kind of go back the way we can... No, actually, this is not... Is it? Yeah, I'm gonna try something. Uh, my visual memory is bad, and by bad, I mean basically non-existent. So I'm going to try real quick and see if I can uh, navigate my way. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is there's a room with an arrow. And uh, we can examine it to get an arrowhead that we can use out in the cemetery to get our first mansion key. And I'm going to need that before I can go. Nope, I'm in the right direction. Okay, we're going the right way. Actually, I'm going to stop by over here real quick, and I'm going to grab some handgun ammo. Let's see. If you can find a Saturn action replay, it automatically region unlocks the Saturn just by having it plugged in. No modding needed. How much are those going for nowadays? That's that's interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of RE4, but I get why it's loved. I did really like Remake, but it came out last year. <laughs> yeah. Um... I mean, I, eventually I'm going to mod my Saturn and just put a GDEMU in, in there. Man, this game looks good. Like, I know that this is the HD remaster and everything, but it's... I feel like the pre-rendered backgrounds have aged so incredibly well. Now, this confuses me. I did not notice this guy until doing a little practice run on a second playthrough. I didn't get very far, but I noticed this guy here already exists, and I feel like he shouldn't. For anybody who knows, there on the floor right right now is a crimson head, which, uh... He should not be there already. I don't think. I guess it depends on the difficulty you're playing on. All right, so we want the golden arrow. Yes, uh, it's okay, I know how to examine stuff, thank you. Yeah, so we can take the arrowhead off of there and then we're gonna need to run back to the lobby and go out towards the back. Oh, I see more handgun ammo. Gonna go ahead and pick that up. Let's see, dude, the first time I saw a Crimson Head, I freaked out. Well, my buddy Cullen, my buddy Cullen was here when I was playing through this game in my first playthrough, and he saw my initial reaction to a, to a Crimson Head. Now, uh, an old friend of mine, Ronald, he, uh, back in the day, was explaining to me Resident Evil, and uh, this was, like, more or less how I was discovering the franchise. God damn it, we've already gotten, uh, taken a bit of a hit. That's okay, we're gonna go ahead and run on through. Uh, I've got some herbs ready to go if I need them. I'm not going to stress over that just yet. But my friend Ronald was explaining uh, Resident Evil to me, and he was explaining the concept of the Crimson Heads. And that you had to, like, burn bodies to avoid them, you know, coming back uh, as, as Crimson Heads later. And uh, I didn't... I guess I didn't ever fully understand. I thought that if you killed a zombie, and you left it, and you did not burn the body, they would get back up later and be red, and just be a little harder to kill. I didn't know they were fast. 
they are fast, and it scared the hell out of me the first time I saw it happen, uh, where he just, like, sprang up from the ground and started coming at me. That scared me. That scared me. I wish I had been streaming for my initial playthrough just so I could have that that reaction recorded, because uh, that was amazing. Uh, should we go ahead and grab the ink ribbon? I'm not going to save just yet. It would just kind of be a waste of time to save right now. Okay, gonna scoot on up here. Let's see, I did play six for the first time last year, and that I get why it's hated, but man, it was... I heard that it's it's fun, and yeah, again, co-op, I, I heard, like, adds a lot to the experience, but it does, it really does kind of seem like the full flanderization of the franchise is, like, more action-oriented stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, wait, no, I didn't need to, I didn't mean to read that again. It's okay. Uh, okay, go ahead and use the arrowhead. I love this, this area. Dude, the way it's captured is so cool. It's so eerie. The lighting and the sound and everything is so creepy. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the Book of Curses. Examine it. We're gonna find the uh, a mansion key on the back. We're gonna go ahead and remove that. Examine, uh, and then this basically is just telling us about how there are four masks uh, hidden throughout the mansion, and each one corresponds to these headstones that we have on the other side of the room here. And uh, we're gonna need to go collect all four of them in order to progress. Now, I'm gonna need this sword key to be able to get very far into the mansion itself. But, the first thing that we're gonna do is I actually need to grab something out of the graveyard here, because it's gonna come in handy real quick once we do what we gotta do. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab this. Let's see, uh, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's trying to have each campaign, but a different slice of the series history, but it doesn't really pan out that way. Yeah, I remember them trying to, I, I remember back in the day when, uh, you know, it was, it was first getting started and that was getting advertised. Uh, it was just that, it was just like, oh, here's all these kind of different play styles, and, you know, you got Leon and Chris, and then, uh, uh, the other guy, who's got a plot-relevant spoiler associated with his lineage that I don't want to get into here. Now, I know it might be a little early to be going ahead and grabbing shotgun shells, uh, considering we do not have a shotgun, but I'm actually going to go ahead and start going after the shotgun right now. Let's see, Saturn Action Replay going for 35 That's not bad at all. Yeah, 35 bucks. That's pretty cheap. That's very reasonable. That would not be an issue. Now, um, I do think I am going to have to go ahead and fight this guy that in the hall here. Oh, no, okay. Well, I laid a lot of ammo into him, but at least I didn't get, uh, I didn't get injured. So that's cool. Oh, that's not where I want to be just yet. I'm silly. Wait, I hear him coming, but I can't see him yet because of the camera angle. Nope, not where I wanted to go. Okay, there he is. All right, come here. Come here, buddy. Ah, I've had about enough of you. Okay, well, I do not have the lighter or the kerosene just yet, so I cannot light him on fire. Oh, that's okay. I just heard him get back up. So he's not dead. So he's not going to be a problem yet. Let's see. Is this the famous ma member of Sunset City? Wilma is boss? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Let's see. And it has the RAM expansion built in, so it gives you access to the games that require it. Oh, that's cool. 
Let's see, I remember having a chase sequence with one of the crimson heads in the arrow room. Yeah. Well, again, that's the one, that's the room that already has a crimson head in it. Like, even though we've just started the game. Uh, I am going to have to, once I freed up my inventory a little bit and once I have the right items, I am going to have to start carrying around some of the kerosene and the lighter so that I can start taking care of those guys and prevent them from causing me issues later. Now, is there already a zombie in here? I don't... There is, there is. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to need... I am not going to need that... Uh, the blue gemstone that's in there for a minute. I do want this dagger, though. Now, the dagger is a defensive item, so essentially what that means is once I have that in my inventory, if I have that equipped, I will be able to use it to defend myself from, um, if I get grappled by a zombie, I can, uh, hit the, the left trigger to go ahead and just, like, jam it into his neck. There is also a, uh, like a taser, uh, defensive item, uh, which we just go around picking up, like, 9-volt batteries to power it. Um, yep, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. So, I'm going to be picking up uh, daggers where I can. Ah, man, I was trying to get past him. All right, you know what? Well, I've already had the herbs ready to go, so let's go ahead and use those. I think that's a good indication that it's time to make our first save. So, let's go ahead and hop into our first save room here. Now, this room is going to be important because we're going to have to be darting back here in a, in a bit of a hurry later on. Um in order to, uh, help somebody out. So, let's go ahead and make a save. Now, you need ink ribbons in order to save your game in this, using these typewriters. Let's see. Um. So, the ability to save is a, uh, is a finite resource. <laughs> Just another thing to add, like, to the, uh, you know, the anxiety-inducing nature of this game. This game's good at, at just freaking you out in those those little ways. Oh, that's right! I forgot, we, we actually have some freebies here uh, when we first start, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that. Now, I'm gonna drop off the knife, because the knife sucks. Uh, from what I've experienced, the knife is useless, and I don't need it. That is just... That has just taken up inventory space. There will be one point in the game, very close to the end, uh, where I will need it to cut through some spider webs, and that is the only time it will be useful in this entire experience. And they, the game assumes you're just going to drop off the, uh, the knife because it provides a knife right next to where you need it. In that, in in the same thing, it's great. Yeah, I love that. Let's see. All right, so there's one of our batteries. It's not just old furniture. Pick up the pick up the battery, Jill. Yeah, there we go. The little battery pack. Now, this is what I came here for. This is the broken shotgun. Uh, we cannot use this to fight anything, but I can use this uh, to my advantage in, in some way. Is there a notebook over here? There is some more ink ribbons. I might go ahead and just drop these off in the save room real quick. Put those in the item box. Now, a very handy, uh, a handy thing about the item box mechanic in this game, uh, save rooms will often have just a, uh, a box where you can store items so that you can free up your inventory, but every, every item box in the game shares the same inventory, so you never have to worry about, um, you know, running to specific item boxes. Uh, it's a good way of just maintaining your inventory across several areas of the game. It's very, very handy. Yeah, I'm just going to drop that off in there real quick. Now, let's go get us a shotgun. Once I get the shotgun, I think what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the imitation key that we'll need to obtain the next main mansion key. Uh, can I unlock this? No, I do need the armor key. Uh, which, again, we're actually, once we get the shotgun, we're going to go ahead and work our way towards obtaining. Here, why don't you come on over here, buddy? Yep. Listen, I don't want to deal with you later. This is, like, just the... Oh, shoot. Nope, I got got myself confused there. Nice. Okay, evaded him. Sometimes it's honestly just more economic to just, uh, you know, evade a zombie rather than trying to fight everything. There's another zombie behind that corner. I just narrowly missed him. Or I guess he just narrowly missed me, whichever you prefer. Oh, 
Yep, he is already in there waiting for us. Actually, I might just go ahead and drop this off because I will need it later. I'm just not really going to be able to take advantage of it till later. Uh, I think I need the, I want to say it's the armor key. It's either the armor, ar armor or the helmet key that I, nah, okay, okay. Got too close, got too close. You surprised me with your speed, sir. I do want to push that off the balcony, though, so, you know, hurry it along. If you want to go fast, be fast in a way that conveniences me. Please. But yeah, no, this blue gemstone that's hiding in this statue's hand, uh, I can only get it after, like, toppling this over the balcony. And then I will use it in a specific room later to obtain some shotgun shells. That's all the blue gemstone does, but the same room does also give us access to uh, a very important item that we will be using to to save Booker's husband at the end of the game. It's a, you ever notice uh, Resident Evil hasn't had a female protagonist in mainline game in a decade? Was Revelations the last one? I guess Revelations 2. Because uh, Revelations 2 you play as Claire, right? Let's see, Resi 8's DLC. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't you play as Rose in the, in the DLC? Yeah, and then there's, well, I mean, RE 2 and 3. Yeah, both the remakes of that. Because, like, honestly, let's be real. Those, the, like, the remake games for 2 and 3 are are different enough where I kind of consider them their their own experiences. And I know that they're, you know, they're building off of uh, mechanics and, and like, narratives and, and structure that already existed. But, again, like, Resident Evil 3 Remake, or 3 Make, if we want to call it that, which I do, that is not the same game as, like, the original. Not if everything that I've seen from, like, hardcore fans has been anything to go off of. Now, we're gonna play both eventually. However, um... Again, I'm already collecting some games for the, uh, the following streams for this. Uh, for this little marathon of ours. Uh, and over the weekend I'm gonna be getting my hands on a copy of the Dreamcast port of 2. And then I'm hoping to also get a Dreamcast port of Resident Evil 3. So... I think the GameCube ports are a little superior. But I also just... Okay. Um, I also just love the Dreamcast, so... I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Where it, like, not quite crashes through the window? The hell? I'm sure they'll pop out through the, the return trip. Just tapping on the glass. Just saying hi. Just being a little quirky. Let's see, what's out here? Uh, I need something that's in there, but I don't need it yet. Let's see, speaking of Dreamcast RE, for Code Veronica, fans have uh, backported the PS2 exclusive content to the Dreamcast version. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, okay, I'm not worrying about this. Uh, there's, uh, honestly, the only thing in there is a, we would get a dagger out of the tub. And honestly, if I'm, if I'm playing the game well, I'm not going to need it. So I'm going to keep moving my way over here. And we're going to go grab us a shotgun. Okay. And do I have ink ribbons? Nah, I'm not wasting inventory space with ink ribbons right now. I got ink eight ink ribbons in the uh in the in the box. I don't need to take up space with it right now. Let's see. 
Okay, now we're gonna use the broken shotgun to place in that that thing. We're gonna completely bypass the trap that would uh that would uh try to kill us. Cause if we just try to leave with the shotgun in tow and and just nothing's in that slot, then the ceiling in that room is gonna start uh coming down and that's that's where the uh the jill sandwich thing comes from because i guess barry can save you i've never seen that scene not not during a playthrough uh because i've never had to have barry save me let's see this room uh that i believe is a one-way door that i cannot enter through yet what about oh hi what is up i didn't notice you there how you doing, pal? Oh, no, no, no. I can't go through this. Okay. Now, there should be a zombie on the other side of this door, I think. Because there's another save room down here. Yes? Yep, there he is. Now, these... We're going to go ahead and play with our new toy. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these guys. Because this save room, I'm going to need to come back to fairly frequently. And, um, I would rather there just not be any guys back here. Uh, thankfully, I am also right next to the save room, so I'm not going to have to worry about these guys becoming Crimson Heads, because I'm going to... Oh, shoot! No! I missed my shot! I missed my shot! Well, not making that mistake again. Okay. I was trying to... So, Cirrus was telling me about a thing where you can wait until a zombie gets, like, right up to you, and you can aim directly up and just blast their head off with the shotgun. And I messed it up. Um... Okay, so here's some handgun ammo. We're gonna go ahead and take this. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the fuel canteen. Okay. How are we doing on health? Am I doing okay on health? Oh, I'm doing fine on health, yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should have grabbed those ink ribbons because I was just going to come in here anyway. And, uh... Yeah. Let's go ahead and save again real quick. I just... think it would probably be a good idea to go ahead and get another one of the under, the, under my belt. Let's see, they don't have to be that close. Perma kills them, uh, no crimson head, and shotgun ammo is plentiful. Yeah, that was that surprised me. I thought shotgun ammo was gonna be way harder to get a hold of. If you know where to find it, you're fine. <laughs> like, especially since I'm going to do my best um, to, uh, I didn't have an issue with this on my initial playthrough, but for some reason when I was trying the game again, I, I was too late to save Richard, and I think if you don't save him, you you lose the ability to get his uh, his stronger shotgun. So. Oh, yeah. Now, I reckon I'm going to have a surplus of ink ribbons by the end of this playthrough. Now that I know a few more of the, the tricks this game has up its sleeve, too, I'm going to do my best to avoid unnecessary deaths. Now, I'm carrying a lot of items. Here, let's go ahead. I'm going to combine these real quick, and I'm going to drop off some excess shotgun shells in here. Oh, shoot. I don't even have the lighter yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't have the lighter. I'm going to need that. And I should hurry, too. All right, come here. Come here, big boy. I was too late again. My depth perception is garbage. No! God, I was trying to aim up! I was trying to aim up! No, everything's falling apart now! <laughs> oh, God. No, now I'm bad at games. I can't believe this has happened. Also, we hit 300 followers on Twitch today. That's cool. 
I'm excited to see how that starts to develop as I, uh, as I'm gonna be streaming a lot more, uh, here this year. A lot, lot more. I'm gonna be aiming for about once a week, to be perfectly honest. Oh, yeah, see, see, I've, al I'm already making mistakes. Um... Okay, I'm gonna need to come back for the dog whistle. I want to go ahead and start taking care of some bodies. Let's see, 300... Just like Sparta. Okay, yeah, both of these zombies are down, and I'm going to need to take care of them before they transform. So let's go ahead and grab some kerosene. All right, so that's full. The door animation is cool, but there there are times I wish I could kind of bypass it just to kind of get a move on. Not all the time, but you know. All right, that's one guy down. Air. Let's go ahead and take care of him, too. Yeah, once you know... <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. It's like, uh, once I've been through an area enough times, it's just like, it stops building tension, and it's more of just like a momentary, like, uh, a momentary slowdown. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and use the lighter here to light the fireplace, and then I can use this mounting board, or the uh, the wooden mount. I'm gonna place it on here and essentially make a map of the second floor of the mansion. Honestly, that's a really cool way of, uh, of doing that too. What's funny is my first playthrough, I ran around because I, um, I had found the shotgun room, and then I'd seen the trap when I was playing as Chris, and uh, I immediately ran back in and just, like, put the shotgun there, and, and then just, like, left without the shotgun. And I found the wooden mount, and I thought what I could do was, um... Like, I actually thought that it was something I could use to, uh, like, place in that... that you know, the, the mount where the shotgun was, and, uh, you know, bypass, bypass that whole thing. Not how that worked. I, I had to go find the broken shotgun. I figured it out eventually. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and refill on kerosene one more time. See, I thought I was clever, and then it turned out that the, uh, the wooden mount was used for something way more interesting than what I, I had thought. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get a little cocky here. I'm going to drop off my extra ammo. Okay. All right, all right, all right. That's good standing. Let's go ahead and move on. Now, I want to run back up to that room that we were just in that we picked up the lighter in. And there's a dog whistle there, and I'm going to need that in here in just a second. Because uh, the next thing I'm going after is the very next key. Uh, hopefully, I can use up the rest of the... The thing is, is I, I don't remember off the top of my head what doors require what key. And again, I have a terrible visual memory. And so that sort of thing is hard for me to remember. Uh... So I would, I would prefer it if I had been able to use up the uh, the sword key and just have that out of my inventory before I go pick up another one. But I might have to fumble around a little bit here along the way. Maybe I can pick up the dog whistle, see if I can go unlock everything else that there is to unlock with the the sword key, and then uh, this is a little note just telling me essentially like where this this one dog is. Oh, there's more extra ammo there. Well. Again, I'm hurting for inventory space right now, so. I 
I really don't want to be stuck in a position later where I'm upset that I didn't grab that handgun ammo. We're gonna grab that. Let's use up the sword key. That'll give me the extra inventory space that I need. All right, now if I run back over this way, uh, I think I need the armor key for that door. What about this one? This was, yeah, no, that's the, the armor key. Okay. Was this the sword key? It was. Okay, okay. Let's see, I've got maps for uh, for floors one and two. Now this, I also wanna say was the armor key. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I can't get in there. Or that, that's locked from the other side, so that's a little different. I think uh, I think the the last sword key door is actually over this way, but I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this idiot. Ah, I'm over here, buddy. You're going the wrong way. Come here. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I uh, don't have to worry about him later, do I? Oh, that's disgusting. That is very satisfying. Oh, did I knock down that thing earlier? Okay, I guess I did. Nice, uh, yeah. Well, that's one, one zombie I don't have to worry about being a crimson head later. Yeah, I don't have any extra inventory space right now. But there is a there is an item box right here. It might be smart to just go ahead and take it take advantage of it. All right. I want to see if I can do that again. Okay, not not quite, not quite. Let's see if I can double tap him real quick. Okay. Uh What do you mean it's not necessary to use that? I want to use it. Okay. No, that was a bad hit. That was a bad hit. That was a bad hit. Bad hit, bad hit, bad hit, bad hit. Okay. I'm doing great. I'm doing really good. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Right? Please? Okay. Well, uh, zombies in this room are taken care of. Yay. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop these off real quick. I'm- I'm gonna... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm momentarily going to set these off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and combine this ammo. Give me back this ammo. Because um, I'm going to need to use the shotgun here in just a second. Let's see, should I save before I try this? Nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's gonna be great. It's fine. All right, actually, so this little plant like potted plant here has some like free use heals uh i'm just gonna go ahead and take advantage of that all right and now we're gonna summon some doggos and we're gonna use the the dog the dog whistle hey what's up buddy all right that's one down ah 
Oh, he jumped. Okay. Those guys are taken care of. Now, we got the dog collar, and this is going to have a little coin in it, and I'm going to, uh, this coin transforms into a fake key, and I'm going to use that fake key to get a real key. Now, I think I need to do that from the, the first floor, actually. So we're going to head back over this way. And yeah, now we can discard the... Uh, I do appreciate that this game tells you when something has become useless and that you can just discard it. Hey, what's up, Brendan? Good to see you. How you doing? What is good, sir? Um, let's see, am I missing... I'm trying to think of any, like, uh, important doors and stuff that I'm missing. Like, just in terms of being able to use... Because I would like to go ahead and get rid of this sword key real quick. Uh, the evil residents are, are doing great. Uh, a lot of them are dead now. Uh, because I have killed them. I just want to see if I can, if I can go ahead and just, like, uh, use up this, uh, key real quick. Should I go ahead and pick up the gemstone? I'm not worried about the gemstone just yet. The gemstone's not going anywhere. It'll be there when I need it, and I'm not gonna need it until I at least have the armor key. Let's see, probably for the best. Yeah, listen. They've just been getting in my way anyhow. I sometimes forget just how many bolts these things can take. Nope, oh, that was very bad. Okay, I need to be careful. Uh, okay, we're gonna use the healing spray. Okay, right, we're gonna we're gonna make some distance real quick. That was a terrible performance there. Let's go ahead and make sure that I got plenty of ammo. I don't have any kerosene on me. Uh, that am I about to create a problem for myself? That is the question. That is the question here. I think the answer is yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be an issue later. Oh, actually, so might... This other thing might be... Might be a problem, too, now that I think about it. It might be a good idea to save before I go any further. It might be. Because I might, I might be getting really close to creating a, uh, a big problem for myself. Let's go ahead and head on topside. And uh, tackle this from the second floor. I apologize to any Resident Evil veterans... Uh, that may be stumbling across this. Again, I'm not, I'm not a master at this. And I don't entirely know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and go through here. This is not my, this is like my second run through. My first run through was like a week ago. So I'm still very, I'm very green. I'm very new to, to all of this. All right, so both of these guys are dead, right? I killed them. Now I do think later on there is a zombie that will kind of come from uh, the other, the other door there. 
Okay, that room is where I'm going to want to be in a minute. But I don't want to go through there just yet, because I am not equipped for it. Or at least I want to save before I attempt it, because if I die and I have to redo a whole bunch of stuff, I'm going to be a little upset. So let's go ahead and, and save. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, I only really got into the series last year, and this one is still on my backlog. Honestly, I started with Revelations. Uh, that was my first Resident Evil, so... You ain't the only one who uh, went a while before tackling this. I remember being really excited for Revelations, too. Uh, partially because like, I had a 3DS, and at the time, the 3DS didn't have really a lot on it. Uh, so... Uh, the demo came out for Revelations, and I played it, and I was like, this is amazing. I can't believe a handheld system is doing this. And, uh, yeah, I got I got super into it, and I ended up really... Uh, when the game came out, I picked up a copy, and I played through it, and I loved it, and I played through it several times. I played through the uh, the online co-op modes and, and stuff like that. A uh, ton of fun. Really, really liked it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, I can't go through there. Okay, we're gonna try our luck with that one door. I think we might be able to just run past that crimson head. I think we might be able to... Because he hasn't gotten up yet. So he may not yet be a problem. We will have to see. There's that one guy over there. Okay, okay. Nope, 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 he's awake, 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 he's, awake. he's up. Okay, we gotta keep moving right along there. <laughs> I don't think they can come through doors, so... I'm gonna worry about that in a minute. Okay. Uh. Let's see, my first was this game, actually. Picked up the Origins collection from a PS4 and played through one. Been a fan of the series since. It must have been like five years ago, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whew, sorry, that actually startled me. Man, he was just waiting for me to, to move past him. Okay, so we're going to use the imitation key and trick this trap. And uh, claim the, uh, the armor key here. Now, there is a, another door at the end of this hallway, although, if memory serves, this requires the helmet key. Yes, okay, so I'm not going to be able to do anything with that just yet. But now, hey, I've got the armor key, so now I can op open up many more doors. There are several doors, Ed Boy, and now we can access all of them. I still need to unlock more, uh, more doors with the... Uh, Okay, let me see if I can get past this crimson head real quick. Alright, 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 alright. I got this, I got this, I got this. Where is he? Okay, he's hiding somewhere else in this room. So maybe the best thing for now is to just keep moving. As you just move right along and just not deal with it. I'm fine with that. Oh, these crows. Yeah, there's crows in here now. I don't know what purpose they serve. I do know that if you shoot at them, uh, they'll kill you. Or at least harm you. Those crows suck. Yeah, don't shoot at the crows. I, I learned that the hard way. Oh, that's right, yeah. Let's see, was there anything else on this floor that I might be able to open with that key? With the sword key? Because I still want to use up the uh, the sword key. So I don't have to uh, worry about it anymore and just kind of have that done and out of the way.
Hey, sorry, I'm also just trying to, like, plan a route. Um... Uh, real quick. Okay, I think I think I know what I want to do before I tackle the part with Richard. Is I'm gonna try to create a shortcut for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm plotting out like how I'm gonna want to do that. Hey, what's up, Justin? Happy New Year, dude. Good to see you around. Oh, right. I was just going to say mansion key until I examine it. Uh, look, armor. Yay. Now we know. And knowing uh, is half of owning a franchise you're desperately trying to make relevant again, even by incorporating it into Transformers. Okay, so this room is going to be important later, um, but I don't need it just yet. Yeah, I think uh, first and foremost, just need to finish up using the sword key. And then I'm going to go uh, find Richard. And then we're going to have to scurry over and uh, obtain a serum for him. Because he's fighting a giant snake right now. And then uh, after we save him, then I can take on the giant snake myself. Well, not immediately. It take, takes a little bit more than that. Okay, what else am I missing? Am I missing anything from floor two? I don't think there's much more from floor two that I can do right now without, uh, for just the sword key. I can go get the grenade launcher right now, but I, I'm not, I'm not too pressed for it at the moment, and then that one door leads to Richard. So, let's... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now, the dogs are probably going to have to break out this time, right? I, I also, I could go through that, that way. There's nothing for me over there. It, it's, you pick up a dagger, and then you get cornered by a zombie, and then you have to use the dagger. It really just exists as a tutorial to show you, like, what uh, defensive items are. And I don't need to, because I know what they are, and I know how they work. Dog? D dog? Where? They're supposed to break through there, right? I'm not crazy. Cause they, um... Yeah, no, they bust through the window. I will say it might be a good idea to go ahead and grab this dagger here. Um, just because, like, uh, seeing how often I've gotten grappled by by zombies so far, it would just be uh, it would just be handy to have an extra defensive item. Oh, he's not doing great. Dang. Okay, Jill. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right. Free dagger. Not really reason not to get it, because we'll never need to run into this bathroom again, I don't think. The door will be open later for reasons. Yeah, no, that's to the one, to the one. Why are you marginally faster than other zombies? That's annoying. For that alone, you should die. Yeah, 
then again, it may be more troublesome to, to try to kill you than to keep you alive. What's back here again? No, nah, I don't need to be back here. That's much later. That's later. I'm not sure that's quite where I wanted to be just yet. I think this is the room with the paintings. It is. Well, I could go ahead and solve this little riddle real quick. So we just need to press three switches. Essentially, it's just corresponding like these different images to the colors of different parts of a stained glass window at the end of the hallway. And once you know the combination, you just kind of know the combination. So you don't really have to worry about it too much. It's just these three buttons right here. Then we got orange, purple, and green. And then we got uh, another switch at um, behind this, this portrait here. So we're going to click that. It's going to lead us outside. This is one of the four masks that we're going to need to uh, to place back in that, that, one, uh, that one room. And this is uh, really just going to kind of lead us right back out there. So might as well go ahead and take advantage of that now. What am I missing? What sword key room am I missing? Which door? Which door? I want to stop carrying this stupid sword key around. How do I get rid of this? Where's the last sword key room? I want answers. All right, so this is the one with no mouth. Okay, yep. So it's going to be this one. And it's going to release the chains from this one coffin. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, I just really need to find, like, which, uh... Which of these last doors I'm I'm missing hitting with the uh, the sword key? I feel stupid. I feel dumb. What am I missing here? No, I can't can't get through any of those doors. I know that. Oh wait, hold up. Is it this one? Is it this one up here? Am I really that stupid? Is this the last sword key door? I think I, I blitzed right by it earlier. Okay, I think I figured out this this little riddle here. I just want this done. I just want that, that key out of my inventory. I just want to not need it anymore. Never mind, it's locked from the other side. What the hell? Let's see, did you ever see Harry Partridge's ghost bleed? Ghost bleed. I've seen a lot of Harry Partridge's work. I don't know about Ghost Bleed. That one I might not be familiar with. Let's see. Yeah, by all means, please do. I I'll I will watch it. I will gladly watch it. Okay, actually, as of right now, we have a pretty straight shot towards uh Hmm. Let's see. I uh, kind of wish they added Re2's colored map doors. <laughs> yeah, 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 that would make this a, a lot less cumbersome. I just want to know where that last sword sword key door is. That's all I want to know. Just so I can go ahead and use it up. Actually, it might be the door leading to Richard. It could be. Well, before I... go down that way hmm 
Hmm. Let's see. Also glad to see the channel doing so well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're moving along. We are definitely moving along. Persistence paid off. It really does feel like it has, yeah. Yep. And, hey, we got a great community here that's really kept things alive and moving, so... Could not have done the... Could not have done that without them. Oh, there's our... There's our guy. There's our dude. I was wondering where he was... When he was gonna pop back up. Actually, I think I might have also figured it out. Figured out our last door here. Maybe. Doing MAGFest this year? Oh, absolutely. Uh, actually, uh, my buddy Gilly and I are going to be hosting a panel uh, day one of MAGFest, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I've gained the PowerPoint together for it. Um, there's actually one uh, one thing in particular I'm really excited about um, having there. Uh, hopefully that it will. Uh, hopefully it'll come in in time. So we'll have to see. Okay, now this room, there's a room that I passed by earlier that's going to have some pesticides. And I'm going to, or some, like, planticides. And I'm going to have to, like, dump it into that water and then I'll spray it all over those vines there so that they don't hurt us. Um, always a good indicator. It's like... Here... Nope, this was not this was not a key door either. This is just an open door. This is where we're gonna use the blue gemstone to pick up shotgun shells, which I might need to just go ahead and do, if I'm being perfectly honest. Now I'm pretty sure that there's a zombie at the end of this hall here. Also, there's a dagger right here. I'm gonna want that. Oh, I suppose there isn't. What's over here? Let's see. I might have figured out which door it is. Yeah? You think so? I'm wondering if it's the one that leads to Richard. Nope. Don't want to be in here yet. I know this room. I know what that room is. I don't want to be in there just yet. Okay. Now, at the end of this room... All right, now we have much easier access to this hallway. And I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up uh, those shotgun shells there. Because I kind of want to get rid of that one zombie that's up there. Kind of in my way. Yeah, because now I can get through here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get us some shells. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to basically just go ahead and clear the path towards uh, the room with Richard. Just so I can run in, grab the the uh, serum for him and then run back because I want his shotgun his shotgun's better than mine <laughs> uh which floor is the uh is the door that you think it is and which side let's see b1 Yeah? Maybe. Oh, it could be, yeah. Uh, that's basically through the, uh, the kitchen, right? Oh, is the kitchen the, uh, the final... 
I think you might be right. Well, hey, we're already we're already on that floor. I think you might be correct. I think you may have just solved my little issue here. All right. Ah, oh, that guy's that guy's there waiting for me, isn't he? Well, he's not a crimson head yet, so that's good. No, I think you're absolutely right. I think it's definitely this door. There it is. That's the sword key. Uh, that was the, the final one. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was going to drive me insane. I would have been running around in circles just trying to figure that out. And now, it's all taken care of. Thank you. You're a genius. All right, now, I'm going to go ahead. I mean, now that we're down here, might as well pick up that dagger. Had to do some cross-referencing. Oh, fair, fair. Not going to be able to do a whole lot else other than that, we are about to get ambushed by a zombie, but I might just kind of avoid him for now. I do like that it has this special little cutscene, though. I think that's fun. <gasps> Let's see. All right, yep, I'm just gonna bypass this guy right now. Just do not feel like dealing with him. We're gonna run right back upstairs. I really don't wanna deal with this guy if he's turning into a crimson head. It might be time to go ahead and go grab like lighter fluid and crap. See if I can go ahead and uh, set him on fire and just not have to worry about him. Yeah, I honestly think that might be the best thing to do. Let me hop over to that safe room over there. And I'm going to... Just because, like, especially in my blitz for uh, Richard, I'm not going to want to have to deal with any zombies along the way. Here, first I'm going to need the, 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 uh, the canteen. Yeah, I'm going to need the canteen. And then uh, go fill up on some some kerosene. That's not, that's not, wait, wait, God, Wayne, what are you doing? Okay, no, put that back, put that back. All right, now. Grab that. Gonna go grab some uh, some kerosene. I think I'm gonna take care of this guy topside. So both uh uh cause uh I think the the fastest route is actually gonna be taking upstairs, especially since that's where I've got most of the zombies cleared out anyway. And I'm pretty sure by the time I save Richard, that route that I took on the first floor is actually gonna have new zombies in it. So I'm not gonna want to deal with them along the way. So, this might be my best solution. So, let's go ahead and take care of this guy that's upstairs. We're going to do this uh, the easy way, or I'm going to try to. Uh, I want to see if I can do another one of those headshots and hopefully not get grappled and waste one of my recovery items. Alright, where are you? Oh, he's like right over here, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear him. I hear him coming. I just don't see him yet. There he is. All right, come here. Oh, nice. All right. That's what I wanted to see. All right. Go ahead and pop one of these bad boys in here. So far, so good. I don't even have to use lighter fluid on him. I don't have to waste any fuel. I think this is probably our uh, our best option of, of getting through this little area here. Man, I gotta see if I can get better at that. Just really clear through some zombies. One shot, all it takes. Uh, you know, before I go on this serum run though, I know Richard's gonna need just some uh, some nice 
healthy serum to help clear him of his poison, kind of like, I could really use something to refuel my energy right now. Well, it's a good thing that I have my partners over at G Fuel. G Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, G Fuel is an energy drink providing company uh, centered around gamers and gaming. Uh, they provide canned drinks as well as energy powder formulas. I prefer the powders myself. My favorite flavor right now is the Miami Nights. It is very synthwave inspired. It's my favorite flavor I've ever tried from them. It's very, uh, very much like a pina colada. I like it quite a bit. Uh, I've already got one of their shakers right over here. Uh, so I've already got it filled up with uh, with a bit of water. And I'm just going to take a scoop of the powder formula. Yeah. Man, I'm working my way through this too. I need to order I need to order some more cuz I actually have been drinking quite a bit of this. But yeah, just grab a scoop. Dunk it in. Very good. Let's see, reassemble my little shaker there. Shake it up and then I'm ready to go. And uh, I legitimately actually love the way this stuff tastes. And it's great too because uh, there is no sugar in these. Uh, it is loaded with vitamins and caffeine. It will kind of give you that boost that you're looking for without giving you the crashes or jitters that you'll get from a lot of other energy drinks. Uh, it has been fantastic being partnered with G Fuel. And if you would like to try some G Fuel for yourself, remember that you can use my code WayneIsBoss at checkout on their website to save 20% off your order, and it helps out the channel as well. Thank you for listening, and thank you to our partners over at G Fuel. Now, Back to residenting some evils. And also a bit of that. That is really good. I need to try more of the, the strawberry shortcake stuff, the, the Amy Rose flavor too, because I remember liking that a lot too. I need to get back to that. I just I just ended up getting like really hooked to the uh, <laughs> the Miami Nights flavor. It's good. Some good, good stuff. Okay, so, if I'm not mistaken, this is the room with Richard. I think. Yes? Yes, it is. Okay. Richard! What happened? <laughs> it's the, the little Mickey Mouse. <laughs> what happened? This what happened? Whole place. See, I need Cirrus here so he can do his uh, Mickey Mouse zone. impression. Uh, there are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake, snake, you say. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. Man, he's got a whiny I'll little voice. It, okay? You're gonna make I mean, I probably wouldn't sound top notch if I was dying via, you know, snake bite either. But hey. Richard, watch out. Poison. Poisonous snake. You were almost a poisoned Richard sandwich. So this really should just be a straight shot. Uh, I should be able to run right over here. Because this is timed. You can fail. You can fail this. Richard can die if you take too long. Which I shouldn't. Because again, this is a straight shot. So, go back over this door. And I've killed every zombie along the way, so there shouldn't be anything. Well, what's worse is that Richard also has a much more powerful shotgun. Uh, or, I don't know if it's more powerful, but it does hold more ammo. And it's, uh, it's nice to have. But I think you can only get it if you save him, initially. Well, this is the room where the serum should be, so, again, this should be easy. Yeah. Okay, so, go ahead and grab that. 
Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I don't know what the time frame is, though. I don't know, like, uh, what what's the clock on it? How long does it expect you to take? How long is too long? Honestly, I think it's impressive that Jill is booking it this quick, you know. I think it does help to just have everything else out of the way first. Alright, this should be easy. Should be easy peasy. Alternate universe where Chris dies uh, to poison here and Richard becomes our leading RE man. Whew. If such a thing were to happen... I swear, if that wasn't fast enough, if that wasn't fast enough for this game, I don't know what it expects from me. There you go. Hey, we saved Richard. Here, Richard. I'm gonna nice. Give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm. <laughs> You're what? Does it ever? Hurt? Oh, you'll be okay. You'll be fine, buddy. Okay, so this does lock in our ability to get his shotgun later. We're not going to get it yet. All right, so we got two green herbs. I'm gonna go ahead and combine that. Now, I'm gonna go after a grenade launcher. I think it's as good a time as I need to go ahead and pick pick that thing up. You know what I'm still wondering about though? Those dogs in that one hallway. Why did they not appear? Why why is that? Why did that not happen? I'm confused. Like why why didn't those dogs do the thing? That confuses me and concerns me a little bit. So I feel like they're going to pop up again when I'm not ready for them. All right. Bulletproof glass. That that's the thing though is like cuz they they two of them, two of them bust through that that those windows. I know they do. I know they're supposed to. How are we doing on daggers? Okay, we've got like five defensive items stacked up here. Okay, which one was this guy? He was another member of STARS. Let's see. That happened to me too. I got past the hallway thinking they'll show up and sometimes I totally get fooled by them not showing up. Maybe I'm thinking of a different window. No, it is that window, but what's crazy is that this time and like y'all saw it. I ran past it and instead of breaking it like... It, it, uh, like, it, it got hit, it got impacted, and some glass came off of it, but uh, it didn't, like, uh, they didn't bust through. Hey, here's our little, uh, grenade launcher tutorial. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> All right, well, we got him taken care of. And I'm not too worried about him coming back to life. There's two green herbs over there, but I also don't think we're going to need them. Let's see. <laughs> sure is the delete button launcher. Hey, damn right it is. All right, how are we doing on, on rooms and such? Okay, I've moved through a couple of those rooms there. Um, I don't think I'm really in dire need of getting through. Looks like it's a bug. Is it a bug? Can that just happen? 
Is the game bugging out on me? Man, that's wild. Yeah, checked in, it happens in PS4, not sure about other versions. Weird! So that's not even supposed to happen. That's not intentional. That's really interesting. To me, anyway. I don't know if it's interesting to anybody else, but to me, that's interesting. So. Wait, no, correction. Okay, okay. Uh, they do that the first time you go through the corridor. Yeah, but then I ran through the corridor a second time and they still didn't bust through. Then it was just nothing. Maybe they'll pop through this time. Maybe maybe this time is when, when we'll see them. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm curious now. Okay, run through here. The dogs are supposed to be in this room. Two of them. It is this hallway. The fact that they are not popping out is putting me on edge. I don't... I don't understand. I don't get it. Like, I don't... Okay, now, now, some zombies are going to be popping out of here. That I know. Um, I'm also going to need to remember this because if you remember that, that room with the vines I was showing you, this is where we get the, uh, the, um, planticides or whatever you, you want to call it, uh, to kill them is, uh, this, this door right here we're gonna need to go out here and grab them i don't have any inventory space right now but okay yep there they are there they are nope run i ain't dealing with that right now no thank you <laughs> y'all are seeing this though right those dogs ain't coming out they're they're not they're not coming out to play and that's uh Strange and not normal, and I don't understand it. Oh, okay, Barry left us a note. I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. I think he uh, he leaves us ammo, and then he also leaves us like some uh, some first aid sprays. Now there is an interaction that you can have with him when you run through a hallway, and then uh, he like gives you some acid rounds for your grenade launcher uh even if you don't even have the grenade launcher yet uh that has not happened yet and oh my god am i about to pass over a hundred bullets in my magazines yeah okay got a lot of ammo i'm gonna go ahead and pack away a couple of things just for the time being i'm gonna pack you away pack you away pack you away and you know what? I honestly think this would be a decent time to go ahead and make another save. If only because I think it's been a little bit since we've done it last. So we're going to go ahead and use an ink ribbon and save. Uh, I mean, we just passed by a room where I left some ink ribbons. And so I, need, I know where to get more if I need them. What's stressful is we might end up having to go back out through that way. We might not, though. 
Actually, I might not need to go back out through that hallway, now that I think about it. No, I don't think I will. Uh, I think I can go through the upstairs. That that hallway is driving me nuts. Interesting how some enemies only show up if you go go into a room in a certain way. Yeah. And the the way certain things are scripted into this game is honestly really really interesting. Well, now that we have a certain key available, actually, I want to see something real quick. Do I have access to this room now? I don't remember if I do or not. No, no. Okay, so the ember. Uh, I need the the helmet key to get through there. That's right. That's right. Uh, however, there's another door in this hallway that I can traverse into now. And it's going to lead us to a couple of rooms. One which just has some extra supplies that I really don't need right now. Um, let's see. Yeah, because this is just like a little supply room. I don't think there's much else in here. I think there is also some like lore tidbits in here. Yeah, I think. Yeah, there's a first aid kit, some ink ribbons. And I think that might be it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then there's like a green herb on the other side of the bed. I don't need any of that right now, though. But hey, it's nice to know that I've got a, a safe place to go get some healing items for later if I need them. Uh, good to keep track of that stuff. Barry, we're just gonna spook him. <laughs> ah. Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. Let's see. Ah, good old Barry. Let's see. A letter slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest is uh, of the letter is legible. Let's see. Alma, I have tried to survive, only to see you again. But my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them, my love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered the uh, my eternal sleep where the rest, uh, where there is peace. Uh, please understand, please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part, and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. Okay, so now, this room has a small little puzzle in it. I'm gonna be honest, I actually don't... No, 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 I know I know what we get from this. And this is the first step in obtaining a really handy weapon for later. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that B specimen on this wall. Um, I keep accidentally interacting with the tank instead. But on this wall, we can grab a hook, a little fish hook. And then over on this wall, over here, uh, you can see it shining bright yellow but uh we're gonna go ahead and grab a lure now it's worth noting that uh the the big yellow lure that we found uh has uh is on the uh the display with a bunch of like actual insects and then just the display for lures had the actual like bee specimen on it so we're gonna switch some places here uh, we're gonna put the lure and now that we've combined it with the hook We're gonna go ahead and use it and display it over here, and then we're gonna put the bee specimen over Here actually real quick I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna need this in a second Let's make sure I got that equipped Okay, we're gonna use that swap some places here press the switch This is gonna open now this 
little medallion thing we're gonna use to uh, to get ourselves. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then we get jump scared by the uh, the bee, which is honestly just kind of funny. Well, it's dead. So this is the wind crest, and we're gonna be using this later. I'm not gonna be able to use it just yet. Uh, but it will come in handy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the wind crest off in, let's see, what an amazing shot to be able to hit that, <laughs> that bee. I know, right? Landed two bullets into that bee. First of all, that's a uh, that's a very sturdy bee to be able to take two bullets before it's dead. And then yes, also impressive on Jill for being able to actually hit both of them. So, have I died yet? Have I died in this this playthrough? I'm not sure that I have actually. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these uh, healing, these first aid sprays just in case I end up needing it. Nope. Well, I mean, I'm going to now, now that I've brought attention to it. I'm pretty sure that's how that, that goes, right? That's, them's the rules, I think. You will, specifically, by the window talks. <laughs> oh, man, that's... Yeah, that's how it would go. Here, I noticed that uh, I have not completed... I have not picked up everything there is to pick up in this room. I think it's literally just handgun ammo. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that, partially to just have it done. Uh... No, maybe I do have everything. No, because the map... If the, the room is red, then there's still stuff to collect, right? Yeah. What else is in here? What am I missing? Yeah, an open journal. The pages are blank. Oh yeah, 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 and this is just like a little guide on how to how to use herbs. The the Sims spin-off, the herbs. That one teaches you how to use that. No no no, go back. I wanna go back in there. I wanna know what I'm missing. I wanna know what item I don't have. What did I not pick up? Is there a book? No. Maybe it's these drawers over here? No. Nothing seems to be there. I feel like the game is punking me. I don't... Why is the room still red? What did I not grab? Yes, I know about the chessboard. Thank you, Jill. Okay, well, I'm not driving myself any crazier over trying to find out whatever it is that I did not pick up in that room. I've got the important stuff. I've got the lighter. That's the most important thing in that room. Now, something I can go ahead and do here. Ooh, okay, so I've used up the armor key. That's uh, that's one less thing taking up inventory space now, so good. Now, we're gonna go ahead and grab us a... Mask. Now, hang on. Am I remembering how to do this properly? Hmm. 
No, wait, wait. Now it's this one, right? Now it's this one? And now it's this one. And then the other one will put itself away. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Let's see. A mysterious box. Will you take the jewelry box? Yes, I will. Let's see. What's in here? Right. Uh, Got to examine it. Oh, right. This one confused me. Um, Because, like, I don't know what order it actually wants me to do this in. It's just like, oh, you did it wrong. Or I could just do it right, I guess, and not have to worry about it. Well, I got the mask. All right. And actually, now that I have that, I want to go ahead and pick up another one. Now this one, again, nothing too complicated. Um, let's see, how am I doing on health? Health is good. I'm gonna have to go through the dog corridor again. Is this it? Is this gonna be the time? Are they gonna jump out now? Is this when the dogs finally come through that corridor? I don't know. I don't know, maybe. I gotta find the piano room again, too. I forgot how I got to that. I think that's on the other... That's the on, on the other wing. Dogs? That's, like, actually stressing me out. Where are they? Where are the dogs? I don't understand why they... They haven't... Why haven't these dogs tried to kill me? I don't get it. I don't understand. Yeah, I know. I hear you. Yeah, I see you too. I'm pretty sure I can just run past you. And I don't need to go through this particular corridor. Go in the corridor through the door you came out of. Yeah, maybe if I go the other way, maybe now, doubling back. Maybe now that I'm doubling back, they'll pop out. There they are. Okay. Can I not use defensive items on dogs? I guess not. I can rest a little easier now that I've seen those stupid things actually pop out of those doors. Or those windows, rather. Jeez. How many freaking daggers do I have now? I've got five daggers. How many daggers can I have? I know. Yeah, I like the little, uh, the little dog head pat after I just got done murdering these little doggos. To be fair, they were trying to kill me first, so, you know. I have so much handgun ammo. Holy crap. Let's see, what else am I forgetting here? Uh, yeah, I need to find the... I'm gonna go ahead and go take care of the vines real quick. 
Although I think now that I've I've gotten a certain amount of things, now more zombies are gonna start popping through those doors. So I do need to prepare, be prepared for that. Um, they were not good doggos. Listen, but all all doggos are good doggos. All doggos go to heaven, oh. Z yeah, I think I think the main thing is I just need to find. So in the piano room. There is a, um, there is, like, a, uh, I never burned that one zombie. He's gotta be a crimson head by now. If I go back that way, he's gonna pop alive and he's gonna come after me. He's gotta be a crim he has gotta be a crimson head by now, right? Oh, I'm starting to feel a little anxious too. Like the game's starting to do it to me. The game is starting to do it to me. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop this off in here. Good. Let's see. We're gonna pump the water. We want to do the red one. If we pump it to the green, it will kill all of the, the green herbs that are over there. So we don't want to do that. Alright, let's go ahead and cut that off. Uh, stop pumping. All right, we got ourselves another mask. All right, so we've got three out of four of the death masks. Okay, I feel like now that now the zombies are going to start popping out. Right? In this room here. This corridor, this hallway. Yep. And we're just going to keep on running. Because, uh, I don't want to deal with that. No, thank you. I don't need to. Not right now. In fact, I'm not even going to need to be back in that corridor again. I'm pretty sure the zombie that's over there is a crimson head by now. I, I don't want to deal with him. Let's see, those dogs had it pretty rough. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, it's going pretty good. I'm having myself a good time. I like this game. I like this game a lot. Nice of you to, to pop on in. How are you doing? Okay, um, this is the last one I'm missing, and I just need to remember how to, where to find that last music sheet. I think that's the only thing I'm just not remembering right now, because I think that's how I find the last death mask, I want to say. Yeah, because like... I <laughs> tired after work, but alive and kicking. That's good to hear. Yeah, yeah. No, I had a I had a ten hour shift at work today too. So trust me, hey, I get it. <laughs> oh, maybe the music is in that that room that I just kind of bypassed. Maybe. Maybe. This is the first floor. It's on the second floor. I'm just trying to see if I'm missing something for the uh, the music. I don't think so. Let's see. Oh wow, kudos on having the energy to stream. Oh, well, I'm also like most most of my shifts are ten hour shifts. Um, and so I am, I am pretty used to it. Uh, 
So I've come to adjust over over time. The nice thing about it is like, yeah, you got 10 hour shifts, but you got four days a week because it's still 40 hours. So you still get like, a, you know, you still get a, I still get three days off a week, which which is nice. If you if you know how to work around it. So you got your tiring days, but hey, if you can adjust yourself around it, you're good. Plus, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a good time right now. I like this game. I like this game a lot. And I'm glad you guys are seeing me play this game a lot better than the first time I played it. Because I did abysmal in my initial playthrough. Now I'm going to run around this way. Mostly just to avoid zombies. Because I could could go back over that, that way direction, but... Uh... Let's see. I'm just trying to think around like the the piano room stuff right now. Yeah, I also want to save real quick. I just think that'd be a good idea. Uh, do you find the three day weekend is better for working on YouTube? Oh, it's not a weekend. I don't I don't typically get two days off in a row. <laughs> uh, I work. Uh, my work schedule is. Um, pretty much split off. I'm, I'm, I'm almost every other day. It's kind of on and off. Uh, now the thing is, is I, 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 uh, I could plan it a little bit better, uh, to the point where, um, I know where the music sheet is. I know exactly where the music sheet is. I just remembered where it is. Sorry, I got got kind of excited for a second there. I know exactly where the music sheet is. All right, we're going to go ahead and save real quick. We're making good progress. Uh, let's see. I like that Resident Evil has similar game design philosophy to Sonic, where you were intended to replay the game over and over to get faster. I also kind of see it in in a very similar vein to, like, Metroid. Uh, that was something that really stood out to me on this particular playthrough. Now, it's not one for one. Uh, it's definitely much more puzzle-oriented, and I would say a lot of the way that you tackle is very different. But it, it really is just kind of like running around... Oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Um, running around, collecting objects that will essentially, like, beef you up and, and help you, like, move through the terrain quicker and more efficiently. Uh, and I like that about this game. I really like that about this game. It's a good game. Okay, so, I, I now remember where the other music sheet is, and we're gonna go grab it real quick. I'm not gonna go that way, that would be a mistake. Um... Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and grab the other part of the music sheet first. Uh, just so I can go ahead and complete it and go straight to the, um, to the piano room. Okay, so, got our mis missing music thing here. And this shouldn't be too, too complicated. We're gonna go back through a familiar corridor here. Let's see. Yeah, the almost Metroid-like structure is what hooked me when I uh, when I played four when I played four last year. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about playing four. Uh, there's a part of me that wanted to skip straight from this one over to four, and I'm probably not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to try to play two first, especially since I'm getting my hands on a Dreamcast copy. Because uh, you know me and my Dreamcast. I'm, I'm happy to just play that game just by virtue of it being on Dreamcast. Okay, yeah, this is the direction that we want to be going in. Uh, so we're going to go back over where we found Richard, and then there is a room. I don't... Ah, oh, man, this corridor. I hate this corridor. Because uh, you do... Yeah, there is a zombie that you're pretty much, like, required to deal with here. And... Maybe I can pop shot him. 
Hey, how you holding up, buddy? Why don't you sit up? Yeah, man. Come on, get some, get some rest. Get some I'm rest. Okay. The others. Oh, the others will be fine. They won't be fine. They're dead. I'm excited for two because I've played two remake, and two remake is excellent. However, I know that the, uh, you know, did take some liberties. Like, obviously, it's based off of the original version of 2, but there are differences. Kind of like there are for this one. Uh, in the original PlayStation version of Resident Evil, at least based on what I was reading, you know, there's differences in, like, um, like, how, like, certain items, uh, are used in, like, uh, how they solve certain puzzles and, and stuff. Oh, I'm kind of impressed I was actually able to circumvent that and completely avoid him. Aren't there zombies in here? I thought there were zombies in here. Okay, let me go ahead and light this. Oh, zombie. Can I pull up a trick shot? Can I pet that dog? Nope, not quite, not quite. Well, he's gonna be a problem later. Unless I just never enter this room again, which I probably won't need to, if I'm being perfectly honest. I'm, okay, maybe it was in here there's another zombie. There is another zombie, there is another zombie, there is another zombie. There is another zombie. No, stop it. You got two knives in your face now. Thank you. Die. All right, I got the musical score. Cool. We're going to go ahead and combine this. All right, yeah, we got the uh, Moonlight Sonata. Well, I'm glad I had, like, an absolute surplus of... Uh, of defensive items. I've been picking up a lot of daggers, so I was in a pretty good standing where all that was concerned. And I think that is, is there anything else? Ooh, shotgun shells. Gladly I will take those. And is there anything else? No, that is everything. That is everything in this room. I will never need to enter this room again. So if they turn into crimson heads, that's okay because I will not be coming back in here. I'll come I'll be coming back into this corridor, but not the other one. It's locked. Okay, yeah, the shield key is required for that. Let's see. Got the liberty to play 2 and 3 on PS3, which is great. Okay, it's coming back to me now. Yeah, I know how this works. I know how this works. Okay, so now we're gonna go back downstairs and in the main dining area, we need to go ahead and grab something that we've bypassed a couple of times now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and load up on my shotgun rounds because I may end up needing them. If nothing else, it'll help if, uh, if and when I have to encounter Yawn again. Uh, so let me go ahead and, yeah, do I have any, no, I don't, okay. I was just kind of checking to see if I had any ink ribbons on me right now, and I, I do not. Okay, so I want this. I'm expecting at some point, you know, I'm going to be coming down that hallway and that one zombie is going to have to turn into a crimson head and just start coming at me. I haven't had to kill a crimson head yet. I got chased by one for a fraction of a second before I just ran through a door, but I haven't really had to deal with one yet. Is Moonlight Sonata public domain? Am I going to get hit for that? 
is uh one of the greatest musical compositions of uh in recorded human history is that is that copyrighted <laughs> I don't know I remember it was in a uh, was it Spider-Man Web of Shadows Let's see. Yeah, I played uh, 2 Remake right after 4 Remake, and now I want to play OG2. Uh, hear great things about that version. I will say, if you're going for OG2, based off of what I've been, been able to find, uh, best version is probably the GameCube port, which is based, I think, off the Dreamcast port, but with, like, you know, higher resolution and everything like that. Okay, now this is interesting. This, this is worth looking into. Trevor's Diary. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a, a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me, and it all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion. Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family... I hope they're all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me before my birthday. Or for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait. Even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men at the lab coats said something like, Most likely your family is already... I pray for their safety. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps. Tiger eyes, gold emblem, I have to try and remember for my own sake. Well, we do have the emblem. We've got the uh, standard emblem as of right now. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the golden emblem with the wooden one that we have. The Trevor family, the Trevor family have a, a tragic tale in this game. And we're going to be seeing uh, deeper repercussions of, of all of that here pretty soon. What? Commemorating the completion of the mansion. Okay, yes, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I know, I know. Commemorating, commemorative painting of the mansion. Thank you very much. I get it. I understand. Yep, I know. I know you guys want out. Yeah, 2 and 3 on the PS3, because I was thinking about doing that. I was thinking about downloading the uh, the PS3, like uh, like the PS1 games on the PS3, but uh, I figure if I can't play them on the Dreamcast, I would prefer to, just because I am the way that I am. Uh, Dreamcast is a very Wayne-coded system, so I'm happy to play it on there. Now, this puzzle, I remember being actually pretty, pretty simple. Um, so, when the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Now, what it's referring to is there's, there's a painting near this clock where there's, uh, somebody being stabbed through the head with, um, wait. Um, through, with a, with a large sword. And then there's somebody being stabbed through the chest with a short sword. So we just have to basically make the little hand match the, uh, uh the big and little hands match that. Uh, fairly easy puzzle. Uh, but it's, it's neat. Alright, what we got? This is another mansion key. So, we're gonna go ahead and examine this, and we got the shield key. Now, there's a couple of, uh, if I remember correctly... This might be when, when we, we take on Yawn, actually. But I would prefer to save first. I'm, I'm... 
clocking in a few more saves here. No. No, we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it. Why not? Why not? Live in large. Mm, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're gonna save first. <laughs> we're gonna save the game before we do that. Okay. I heard the Dreamcast ports of 2 and 3 are pretty good alongside the GameCube ones. Yeah, again, I think the GameCube versions are just improved dream, uh, improved versions of the Dreamcast ports. So, that, that makes sense. Um... Because, like, obviously the Dreamcast was more powerful than the PS1 back then. Um, now, it's it's uh, how it compared to the PS2. I think kind of uh, it was one of those, it depends on how the developers in question were, were using it at the time sort of thing. Let's see. Do I have any extra shotgun shells? I do have extra shotgun shells. Okay. I'm doing pretty good right now. It might just not be a bad idea for me to, if I have any extra... Let's see... Yeah, let's go ahead and save real quick. It's an old typewriter. Use the ink ribbon. Yes. Uh, I feel like I saw Cullen stream a Sega console version of RE1. Maybe he was playing the Saturn version. He's a bit of a Saturn, a Saturn head. Um, he was a uh, Saturn enlightened, as it were. So he, he might have, he might have. Uh, it was fun having him here when I was, I was playing through this game for the first time. He saw me just stumbling my way through absolutely everything. It was kind of funny. I love that boy. Hope he's having a good night. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pack the grenade launcher with me if I'm gonna go fight a big snake. So let's go ahead and give this a shot, shall we? Or maybe a couple of shots of grenades at him. And I think because we're kind of circumventing a few rooms here, I may not have to, mm, there's a crimson head over there. Do not go that way. Uh, I may not have to worry about them because when we return to the mansion later on, um, I think m any of the remaining zombies have been taken out by hunters. Now, we'll have to deal with a couple of hunters, but as long as we're, we're topped off on, like, shotgun ammo, we should be fine. As long as you got your, your shotgun handy, uh, then, then you're good. It makes the, uh, I, I haven't tried using the grenade launcher on the, on the hunters, but I, I would think it would do just as fine. If not, a good idea to just have the grenade launcher for, like, standard enemies, and, so that you can save the shotgun for the hunters. Uh, I don't remember there being a ton of hunters, I want to say that there were, like, five or six total that I saw, like, running through the, uh, the return trip into the mansion. Um, and then, of course, again, it's just, like, I think there might have been, like, a couple of zombie dogs. Um but not like not like a ton of zombies outside of like one or two uh the return trip i think i'll be okay okay so we have used the shield key let's fight a snake <laughs> i like this scene too I like what happens here. Ooh. I like how he just pops in. He's like, hmm. I'm a snake. Colonel. I'm a very big snake. Oh yeah, payback, payback time. time. Ow, I got I got this. And I'm poisoned. Good job. Good job. Which means I'm gonna have to run for serum after this now. Okay, and now he's gonna look like he's dead for a second, but he won't actually be. Thanks. But Richard actually is gone this time. Sad. Oh no, did I screw myself over? I don't have enough inventory space to pick up the... 
the nice big shotgun, do I? Oh no, I do, I do. What am I talking about? Okay. You know what, let's go ahead and, uh, I'm fine, I'm fine on health. That's not a problem. Well, okay, I said that. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, big baby running away. Okay, I see how it is. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab the uh, assault shotgun. This holds a lot more ammunition, so it's gonna be a lot more useful to us. And now, the final death mask. Now, as soon as we leave this room, Jill's gonna talk about how she's poisoned, and I'm gonna have to run back in and go get some serum again. Now that we've cleared the way, super simple to do, it's not gonna be complicated, and I do have a free inventory slot, so I should be able to just, like, grab it and go. Oh, am I poisoned? Am I poisoned? I need oh. serum. This wouldn't have happened if you had G Fuel, Jill. I think that's everything I need from essentially that whole that whole corridor, so I'll never even need to walk through that room again. Oh, right. There's a zombie there now. I kinda forgot about that. Well again, I don't know if I ever need to run through there a second time. So I think I'm I'm good on that. I just need serum, which thankfully is not going to be that hard to get. And then I can run the death masks out. Let's see, I think Grenade Launcher is a one hit with Acid Rounds on Hunters. Oh, is it really? Okay, that's interesting. Well, it's a, I'm a little sad now that I missed out on the freed acid, the uh, the free Acid Rounds from uh, from Barry. That being said, I do think he dropped some off in a location on our way back to the mansion. Uh, so, if that's a one hit kill, that takes care of like pretty much all the Hunters. I will have to give that a shot when we uh, when we make a return trip over and just make sure that I got the uh, grenade launcher handy for that. So very much appreciate the recommendation there. Uh, that is not what I meant to do here. Yep, right off to the side. Serum. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop some stuff off. Uh, let's see, extra handgun ammo and old shotgun. Don't need you. I want you and I want you. All right, let's go wake up a crimson head prototype. He's basically been held in cryo in that giant coffin in that one little altar that we were in before. So now, we're gonna go pay him a visit and wake him up very rudely, and he's not gonna be very happy with us about it. I'm sure there's plenty of speedrunners that could put me to shame, but again, considering it took me almost 20 hours to do my first playthrough, the fact that it took me under three to collect all the death masks, I'm happy about it. <laughs> I'm happy about it. I'm already I'm already running this at like a fraction of the time it took me to do the first time so Now what do we get? Uh, yes, we get the stone and metal objects from from that crypt. I believe uh, That is what we use to essentially go out and uh uh, We can we can go into the woods behind the mansion.
All right, buddy. All right. It's time to do this. Are you ready to play? All right, so this one is the one with no eyes. So let's go ahead and use that one. That's another chain gone. And this one, I believe, has no, uh, no nose. Yep. So let's use that one. Okay, let's go ahead and get our sh assault shotgun equipped. And time for the final mask. I believe that was the first Crimson Head. Oh, he is hungry. Come on. I like how he's slow at first and then he speeds up. Oh, I didn't bring a healing item. Why did I not bring a healing item? What the hell? I'd be concerned. Why didn't I bring a healing item? That was stupid of me. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need that. Now I'll go ahead and take the shotgun shells. Whew, I got really close to my first death there. Yeah, Jill is, uh, Jill's not doing great there, huh? That's my bad. So, sorry, Jill. Well, at least I know where plenty of healing items are. So we're gonna go ahead on over to the uh, second floor, west side. I believe it's west side. I think I did that correctly. I'm really embarrassed right now. I can't. I can't seem to remember my easts and wests. Whatever. That's fine. That doesn't matter. To the right side. <laughs> right side of the mansion on the top floor. And kind of cut over a bunch of the uh, zombies that are going to be on the on the, uh, the the bottom floor. Because, hey, they can't break into windows up here. Well, not with that attitude, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and pop into this room right here because this has some herbs in it that I can use. Now, I do have a first aid can down in the um, uh, the save room. I don't wanna use that just yet. I'm just gonna kinda go ahead and start using uh, what I got available to me right here. And then I will carry the first aid spray, uh, the first aid spray can with me afterwards. So we're gonna go ahead and combine this. Uh, and use that real quick. And actually, you know what would be a good idea, now that I think about it? Let's go ahead and start, let's stock up on a couple, stock up on a couple of herbs here real quick. I think that'd be a good idea because if we drop them in the item box yeah, then we just kind of have them you know ready to go so for uh you know when we're running around in in the next area outside of the mansion 
then uh, as long as we got an item box handy, then we can just kind of like uh, grab them at our leisure and, and not have too much to worry about. Now, uh, let's go ahead and hop into this room here again because there was also a first aid kit uh, in here. So, might as well go ahead and grab that. We'll just drop a bunch of stuff off in the, uh, in the item box and uh, be prepared. Okay, so examine that. You just gotta show it off at the top, and there's our first aid spray. Nice. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop this crap off in here, shall we? I think we shall. Might as well go ahead and grab some of those uh, fire rounds too while we're at it. I'm gonna drop you off in here too. I don't need you just yet. Now you can wait actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, go ahead and drop this off in here. Um, drop this off in here. Drop this off in here, because I'm just going to grab the one that's that's down there. And then I'm going to grab the, uh, the incinerary rounds, but I'm going to drop them off in the item box. Because I'm not going to need that just yet. Actually, where we're about to head, there's not a, like, a crap ton of zombies, so I'm not too, too worried about it. Okay, I think that puts us in good standing. So let's go ahead and start making our way out towards... I should have grabbed extra handgun ammo, but I think I'll be okay for now. A uh, doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart, go through anyway. Yeah, this door uh, is is messed up. Uh, so there's like really only so many times you can really go through it uh, before it just like shatters. Ooh, the door behind us just opened. Oh, yeah, I see you. I see you. Yep, not dealing with you right now. Um. What was I saying? I was saying something. Maybe it mattered. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. There's a dog out here, right? Yeah? Maybe? Yes? Yes! Ah, dang it. I wasn't fast enough. I forgot that I can use the right stick to just, like, snap in a direction. These camera angles ain't doing me. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Heal, 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 heal. Yes, I see you. I am, yeah. Piss off. Jeez. Okay, now we can use this to proceed. Uh, hey, at least it only took one shot to put down Fido, right? And so now we've got even more shotgun shells. Go ahead and grab the first aid spray. Let's go ahead and grab that battery pack. Uh, now, which way did I want to be going in? This is the direction I'm thinking of. Brad, you left us. 
Brad? Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. Oh, dogs. What's up? Come on. Come get some. Man, I just one shot at all of them. I mean, I'll take it. Sure, why not? Okay, this is not, however, the direction I want to be going in just yet. I actually want to be going out in the opposite direction. Uh, because we, there's a little cabin. There's a little cabin out there waiting for us. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go out over there. Now, this is important, this little sign here. Let's see. So, uh, north, west, yes, okay. North is destruction, west is revenge. So if I'm remembering this correctly, we want to stop this, uh... Yeah, we want him turning north. Oh, Brad's calling again. Barry. Barry? Monster. James. Gun. Ineffective. Instant. Stay away. Forest outside the mansion. Stay. Hey. I honestly think that just means we should go towards the the forest outside the mansion. Okay, there's a switch here. Press it, not until it's facing west. Okay, now the gate should open. Uh, the gate the the gate is not open. Okay, uh, you, what's your what's your deal? Let's see, the last gasp of destruction. Let's see. War cry for revenge. Yeah, was it north for revenge and west for destruction? Am I reading that wrong? Am I incorrect? Maybe. Yeah, north north for destruction, west for revenge. So red is north for destruction and blue is west for revenge. Or am I mixing them up right now? What's your deal? Oh, no, I'm mixing you both guys up. I'm mixing you guys up. Okay, so these need to be the opposite directions. So this one needs to be north. Blue needs to be north. Nope. That, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm, I know. I'm trying to... I'm trying to hit it at north. Okay. Now he's happy. Now he's happy. So the other one needs to be west. Got you. I see I got them backwards. That's what it was. Got them backwards. Okay, now this one's satisfied. So now the the gates unlocked. Okay. Okay. Small little setback. Got a little turn around there. That's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. Don't want to make these guys upset. So if I if I get too close to them, 
And if I run, it might make them attack. And they're not incredibly dangerous, but they are a bit of a nuisance. And they can kill you if you're not careful. So, you know, best not to tempt fate, right? Well, now we're in the forest, and we're hearing something that sounds like it's in chains. Now, what could that be? Whatever, indeed. All right, so we got a... Uh... We got some more herbs out here in case we were to need it for whatever reason, right? Oh, we got a typewriter. I don't have any ink ribbons on me right now, but thankfully we do have an item box right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the wind crest and the ink ribbon. I'm gonna need them soon. Um, yeah, and I've got first aid and everything out here. So I want to go ahead and hop down here real quick and pick up this hand crank. Cause I'm gonna need that back uh, where I saw those three dogs. I'm gonna kind of need it off in that direction. was that noise? Just got whacked. Just got whacked upside the head. Why and for what reason? Good question. Oh boy. Oh boy, we got a friend. Oh boy. I'm not sure why it knocked us out just to uh, not immediately kill us, but you know. Ah, shoot. Let's see. I know, I know. I know. Okay, got it knocked down for a second. Go ahead and run on by. Now, what in the hell was that exactly? Actually, I'm pretty sure after you've escaped the cabin, it pretty much just leaves. Uh, so we can really just go back in right now and, and uh, figure it out. Also, we're going to want to grab this map of the courtyard. This is going to be helpful. Now, I'm pretty sure there was a note, a note or something nearby here. A family picture. There's a journal left by someone. Daddy attacked first. Mommy attacked second. Inside red and slimy, white and hard. Not true mom, where? Dunno dad, found mom again. When attacked mommy, she moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Mom, where? I miss you. A 
family picture and some notes. My dearest Lisa. That creature is Lisa Trevor, the daughter of the man whose lighter we've been carrying around to burn bodies, uh, that whose note we found near the Golden Crest, and a, uh, a, a poor soul that we're going to be learning a bit more about as the game goes on. Lisa Trevor is one of the greatest victims of the Umbrella Corporation. Uh... I would say in part due to the fact that she is uh, still suffering after all this time. I think, though, personally, that might be a decent place to call it for tonight. Uh, we've been at this for close to three hours, and hey, we've made it into the next major area. I honestly think, um, I think one more play session we should be able to, to probably complete uh, Jill's playthrough of this game, so I uh, I think we can wrap this up uh, later on this week. Uh, maybe Friday night? Maybe, if anybody's up for some more spooky game Friday night? Yeah? Yeah? Let's maybe give that a shot. And probably one of the best additions to the remake. Yeah, from what I can tell, uh, yeah, from, from what I saw, Lisa Trevor as an entity did not exist in the original version of this game, so I think it was kind of a stroke of genius uh, to to add her in there uh lisa trevor is one of those those characters that's just like um i knew about her before going into this game just because like you know any fan of of resident evil uh like any hardcore fan could tell you any any person that's played this game can tell you it's just like lisa, lisa trevor is probably one of the standout elements uh hell yeah sounds good man thanks for the stream and thank you for watching i appreciate y'all joining me in on this i think i'm gonna go ahead and do another another uh stream to wrap up jill's campaign on friday night so we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot um let's see thanks for the stream i appreciate you guys um and uh it'll probably be 9 30 p.m est uh just like tonight was um so if y'all are available please by all means swing on by and of course i'll be trying to upload all of these vods over to my gameplay channel uh so if you want to catch uh, catch up on any of the uh, uh the archives for any of that uh for any of my other previous streams that is a great way to do it uh thank you all so much for joining in i hope to see you next time and i will see you next mission Oh, 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 oh,